Hello, and welcome to Winging It. I'm Shark Kent, and I will be co-hosting Winging It today, and taking over the world, because the book is about me, sharks. Truth or lie, sharks, that is. Okay, I'll hand it over to Erica now. Here's Erica! Thank you, Shark Kent. Hi, I'm Erica Pearl, and welcome to Winging It, which is my weekly Instagram live show in which I read books that I wrote and do projects related to them. I'm a children's book author. Here are some of my books. And today we're going to be talking about the Truth or Lie series, which I write the words for and do the research for, and it is illustrated by the incomparable Michael Slack. He drew these amazing pictures, and it's published by Random House Books for Young Readers. So, let's get started. Let me tell you a little bit about this book because it's a little different than most books you might find about sharks. It's also a little different from most books that I write because I write a lot of fiction books. And fiction, as you know, is stories that are made up and that are not, for the most part, true. However, nonfiction books are true books about a variety of different subjects. This is an unusual book because it is a nonfiction book about sharks that has lies in the book and your job is to help spot the lies because there are lies on almost every page and they're mixed in just to be tricky that's why the book series is called truth or lie it is 75 percent true with 25 percent lies mixed in for 100 percent fun so let's get started we're going to read together some of the book and then we're going to talk a little bit about writing truth or lie books and how you can write your own truth or lie books. And then we're going to do a fun shark craft project. Okay, let's kick it off. Truth or lie sharks. Now, you meet this character here at the beginning of the book, and that is the truth sleuth. And the truth sleuth is going to kind of narrate the book and help out because the truth sleuth helps identify lies and stamp them out. Truth Sleuth says, Hi, I'm the Truth Sleuth. Look at all these sharks. There are over 400 kinds of sharks, from the dwarf lantern shark, this tiny guy here, to the whale shark. Wow, that's huge. It's true. But I smell a lie nearby. Let's play truth or lie and find it. When you turn the page, you'll see four statements, but only three of them are true. See a hammerhead shark here and a great white shark there right by Truth Sleuth's feet. Watch out, Truth Sleuth. So let's turn the page and see what we can find. Okay. Which one is a lie? Take a guess, and you can put your guesses in the comments if you want. One of these four statements is not true. Number one, listen to them all before you make a decision. Number one, some baby sharks hatch from eggs just like baby birds. Tweet, tweet. Number two, some mother sharks give birth to live babies, just like mother dolphins. Number three, Baby sharks are toothless at first. Number four, baby sharks take care of themselves right away. Now I'll give you a moment to think about your answer. We'll all sing the baby shark song while we wait. Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark. Did you guys think of an answer? What do you think? One, two. Three or four. Are you ready for me to reveal which one is a lie? Drum roll, please. And you can do your own drum roll at home by going like this. Okay, do your drum roll. Drum roll, please. And the answer is number three. Did you guys guess that? Number three, baby sharks are toothless at first. That is a lie. And you see how the Truth Sleuth stamps that? A lie. Baby sharks have teeth when they are born. They need to take care of themselves right away. 
they catch their own dinner, and they protect themselves so they don't become someone else's dinner. Those are important things that baby sharks have to do the minute that they start to swim. All right, so you guys got the hang of this now? We want to try another one? Let's go for it. Next question. See if you can find the lie here. Number one, a shark's skin is armored. Number two, sharks do not shed their skin. Number three, many sharks have darker skins on their darker skin on their back and paler skin on their bellies. Number four, a shark's skin is easily cut. Now, I will tell you that one thing that helps me sometimes when I'm trying to figure it out is I add the words, it's true that, before the statement. And then I try and figure out, well, is that true? Okay, first one, let's try that. It's true that a shark's skin is armored. Is a shark's skin like a suit of armor? Is that true? All right, let's think about that. Number two, it's true that sharks do not shed their skin. Is that true that they do not shed their skin like a snake? How about number three, many sharks have darker skin on their backs and paler skin on their bellies. Is that true? And number four, it's true that a shark's skin is easily cut. Do you think a shark can get a paper cut really easy? Hmm. Okay, take a guess. All guesses are good guesses, and let's find out. Can I get a drum roll again? Drum roll, please. And the answer is number four. The lie is a shark's skin is easily cut. Not true. That is not true because the shark, the skin of a shark is very tough, almost like a suit of armor. It's covered with denticles. You say it, denticles. And denticles are tough scales. They're made of the same strong material as a shark's teeth. This is like a close-up of the way the skin looks. Sharp little denticles. So a shark's skin is like a suit of armor. This helps protect its body from getting hurt. Okay, good job, you guys. Let's do maybe one more. All right, one more. Getting very good at this. All right, let's try another. Which one is the lie? Number one, sharks have skeletons. Number two, a shark skeleton is made of bones. Number three, people have more bones than sharks. And number four, a shark does not have a funny bone. So let's try that. Remember, our, we'll try our trick. It's true that sharks have skeletons. Is that true? Do sharks have skeletons? How about it's true that a shark skeleton is made of bones? Is that what a shark skeleton is made of? Number three, it's true that people have more bones than sharks. And number four, it's true that a shark does not have a funny bone. And down here, the bone says, I'll bet I can make you laugh. Doubt it, says the shark. All right, take a guess. See what you think is the lie. And let's do a drum roll before we reveal the answer. Drum roll, please. And the answer is... Number two, a shark skeleton is made of bones. That is a lie. Sharks don't have any bones, not even a funny bone. A shark skeleton is made of cartilage. Cartilage is lighter and more bendable than bone. See the shark up here and Truth Sleuth says, see how bendy? This gives many sharks, like the short fin mako shark, the flexibility that helps them swim and turn so fast. So when you look at a shark, it does have a skeleton, but not a bone skeleton like a person has, a cartilage skeleton. You guys, you did a great job with those, and there are many more inside the book. So when you get a chance, check out Truth or Lies Sharks. Try and see if you can be a truth sleuth and answer as many questions as possible. And let's try writing our own truth or lie sharks because it's a lot of fun. So here's how it works. 
we're going to have to come up with three statements about sharks that are completely true, and then we get to make up one thing about sharks that is completely not true, a lie. So help me out, write in the comments, and tell me some things you know about sharks that are totally true, like a shark is a fish. That's totally true. A shark has a tail, also true. Sharks swim in the ocean, very true. Oh, I just thought of three of them right like that. Can you guys think of some more? Think of some shark truths and send them to me in the comments. A shark cannot walk on land. <gasps> that is true. A shark cannot walk on land. Very true. What else? Sharks have sharp teeth. Sharks have sharp teeth. Very true. Anything else? Well, let's try some untrue things. Who can make up something that is not true about sharks? Like, sharks are covered with fur. That's not actually true. Sharks don't wear sunglasses. Shark, well, so here's the thing. Sharks don't wear sunglasses is true, but let's flip it around and make it untrue. That's very true. And we see sunglasses on this shark on the cover. But do sharks really wear sunglasses? No. So maybe we would say as our lie, sharks love sunglasses. Sharks like to wear sunglasses when they tan themselves on the beach. Extremely untrue, but a good one for a truth or lie book. Good job. What else is untrue about sharks? Sharks eat more humans than humans eat sharks. Ah, that is a very important one. Good one. If you say sharks eat more humans than humans eat sharks, that's not true. Sharks actually injure very few humans, and lots of sharks end up being victims of fishing nets and all sorts of things. So that is a really good and really accurate untruth, lie. Sharks love chocolate. Sharks love chocolate. I think that is just a fantastic lie about sharks, although you know, I haven't spent that much time. I might have to ask Clark the shark afterwards, Clark Kent rather, uh, what he thinks about shark chocolate because it seems to me he might have a taste for it. But most sharks, yeah, not big chocolate fans. So that's a really good lie. You guys clearly get the hang of this. You can write your own uh, uh, truth or lie shark books and you can write your own truth or lie books about any subject that interests you. Truth or lie rabbits, truth or lie football, truth or lie rocket ships, truth or lie cars, truth or lies tomatoes, really anything that just interests you, write a book about it. And again, the formula, secret formula, is three truths, one lie. Okay, so let's do a, a shark craft now. I have the materials here and we will get started. I thought today we might make these amazing shark bookmarks. Aren't they cool? Look, they kind of chomp onto the edge of your page like that. So if you're reading and you need to go take a break, you can just put your shark in place and they will chomp your place while you're gone and then you come back, lift it off and you're good to go. And I discovered that as we like to do things on winging it, they can be made with things that you have in your own home. So we're gonna make one right now and here's how you do it. I have these handy dandy index cards. And if you don't have an index card, you just need an index card sized piece of paper to make it work. So we'll put the book here and we go like this. Okay, step one is that you take your index card and you're gonna fold down the ears on the top of it like you're making a paper airplane. So I will show you how I do that. All right. And it's not going to be perfect, just to be clear, because here on Winging It, we're not big fans of perfect. We're big fans on doing stuff and having fun with it. Okay, so as you see right now, it looks sort of like the beginning of a paper airplane. It's got these two little ears like that. Step two is you take the nose of your airplane and you fold it down on itself. All right, right like that. 
and then you take a pen or a pencil and you put a dot right there where the nose landed okay then you take your scissors you're gonna start not at the very end but a little short from the short of the end and you're gonna cut straight on through to the dot like that and then on the other side you're gonna do the same thing start not quite at the end and cut straight on through to the dot and so when you unfold you have sort of an arrow and I'm gonna actually cut these flaps off now like this so that it really makes an arrow okay with me so far there's our arrow now save these because they're gonna be handy later okay now we're gonna take this part here and we're gonna fold it up that's okay no problem so that one leg of your arrow like this so it's sort of doing a high kick and then you're gonna fold the other leg up same way so you've actually got a square now all right and we're gonna flip that square upside down because that's how our little pocket is going to work for our bookmark. So what I like to do next is I take the piece I cut off and I'm going to make some teeth out of that by using my scissors to cut a jagged line like this that becomes the teeth. Okay, see my teeth? And I'm gonna tuck that inside like this. I'm gonna make it glued in place to one of these legs of my arrow. So I'll take my glue stick, or you could use tape. And I'm gonna go like this and glue my teeth into position. Okay, teeth are in position. And then I'm going to fold it over, fold one leg, fold the other leg, and I'm going to glue the second leg to the first leg, like this. So now I have a pocket with teeth, see? So now it needs some decoration, because I've got a mouth, clearly, but I don't have any eyes. So I'm going to draw some eyes on, like this. starting to look more shark-like. And then I'm gonna take one of these pieces that I cut off, remember? And I'm gonna glue it to the back to make a dorsal fin sticking up on the top, ta-da! And now I have a fantastic shark for my bookmark. But this looks a lot like a truthful shark. And so I also went to the trouble of making a couple of fancy live sharks like this lovely shark with lipstick and this lovely shark with a mustache. That's the beauty of making truth or lie shark bookmarks. You can make them any way you want and you can find them on my website. I will have a, a link on the truth or lie page with templates so that you can make your own truth or lie shark bookmark to go with your truth or lie shark books or any book you'd like to read. Okay, any questions? All right. Well, thank you for joining me for another wonderful episode of Winging It. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad you're such excellent and enthusiastic readers and writers and liars in the best possible way. So I'm going to recommend that between now and next Tuesday at 2, you do some reading, you do some writing, and you wash your wings. And I will see you here next week for more wonderful Winging It. Bye!